did you ever find out who Eugene Deal was talking about when he said a guy that looked like he was from the Nation of Islam went up to Puff's car? Yeah, so I have a really good idea of who that was. Um, we've never put that out because unless we can tie him directly to Poochie or to some element of the murder conspiracy, it's just not fair to put it out there as if he was involved. It's not, you know, this is what happened to Harry Billups, the Amir Mohammed back in the you know, whole labyrinth story. You know, you've got this association with somebody and next thing you know, you're a hired hitman. And it's just not fair to put that stuff out there because of what the public does with that information. Um, they assume it to be true. And, um, it, and, and, and when it's not true, it drastically and negatively affects people's lives and, and it even puts them in jeopardy. Mm. So, yeah, I think I know who Eugene Deal dealt with. Um, but until we know more about his association with, with the known conspirators, it's just not worth putting out there. The person you suspect, is he still alive? Is he still around today? Uh, as, as far as I know, I've never heard of him passing out. If he did die, I think I would know about it. You have me really curious. I really want to ask you, but I know you can't tell me. Yeah, I couldn't. It's just not fair to him until until we have facts connecting him to it all. Is it something you pursue, or you just left it as it is? You know, I don't... Uh, if a person was involved, they're certainly not going to admit to me under these circumstances um, that they were involved. You know, of course, when people aren't involved, they're happy to tell you they're not involved. Um, but you keep in mind, I'm a retired cop. I have no, no investigative authority um, to, to put people into situations where they're compelled to tell the truth. Um, you know, it's just the opportunity for that, I think, has been lost. And, uh, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just an average guy like you asking questions these days. At the point you were investigating Big's murder, did you ever try to hunt him down? Or was it at that point, was it too late? Well, we knew who it was during the, when I was still conducting the investigation. And we did, uh, we did some, we did surveillance and uh, we did phone records and we did a very thorough, comprehensive um, investigation to try to find a connection. And we didn't. And that's not to say that there wasn't one. It just wasn't one that we could see based on our research. And, uh, and knowing this individual who's closely associated with Suge Knight, um, it wasn't like he was ever going to sit down and admit to his involvement if he was involved, unless we had something over his head, very much like Keefe D. You know, Keefe D had already said, I don't know nothing about nothing. But until something's hand, you know, until it, there's a looming threat over his head, um, you know, sometimes you don't get to the bottom of it.